there are two tools that should never mix and should never have something in common. Fundaments and hammers. Welcome, it's your host Amy from Pen Venture, and I'm here with another update on my personal pen collection. I recently added a new founder pen to my collection and I want to share this unique piece with you all. And before going further, let me just clarify a few things about my intro. Yes, founder pens and hammers sometimes mix together and wonderful things are emerging from this two things that are mixing and I will show you. But before that, let me share you the story of how I acquired this Fundapen. I am blessed to have a lot of friends in the Fundapen community and I want to say a big thank you to Marcus from Germany because this is his Fundapen and he showed me this piece a few weeks ago, if not months, and I immediately jumped to the occasion of having such a pen because I wanted to see it in person. I have to admit, when I first seen this pen launched, I did not went for it because, well, things moved rather quickly and the pen got sold out and I wasn't able to get one. But ever since I've seen the pen, I wanted to see one in person or at least go for one and then see it once I bought it. Well, to put it in a few words, things work out this time and I'm really happy because I have a new fondant pen, thanks to Marcus from Germany. And let's not make this video too long, let me show you what I have here. This is the box and we open the box very gloriously and the pen is presented like this. And this is my new fondant pen. It is a sailor, Wancher Japan Blue. Maybe most of you know about the company and what do they stand for. Wancher, I'm pretty sure you know Sailor because they are a Japanese brand that produce wonderful writing instruments. Before you get to see the band closer, let me show you a few facts about Wancher. And I don't have a lot of information, but probably before I will have the chance to review this pen, I will gather some more informations and showcase them in the video review of this founder band. But to put it in a few words, Wancher is a brand that is dedicated to preserving techniques and they produce writing instruments in collaboration with different brands or themselves using those techniques that they want to preserve. For example, we have Urushi pens. I've seen some very cool glass deep pens, but it is not deep anymore because they do build a inner cartridge converter and you can use the glass pen as a normal founder pen. And this is one of the pieces that they work with a company called Oita. As I told you in the intro, founder pens and hammers should not mix. But this is one way as you can mix those two tools to create something special. This surface is created entirely by using the hammer to strike the surface and it forms those indentations in the metal and it is stunning. I love it. If you thought the hammering technique of the body is interesting, wait to see how this purple blue color is obtained and this is something that's traditional to Japan and apparently from what I've read in the Wancher website it's obtained by taking the bloom of the indigo tree and using the pigment to dye the metal in this traditional blue color which I think it's amazing. Apparently the combination of these two techniques, the dyeing of the metal to obtain this blue color and also the hammering of the surface is the first time that they are used outside of their normal use. For example, these two techniques are used to decorate the guard of the katana sword, the tsuba, and I think this is something very interesting. Moving forward, we have a normal size pen 
although I'm used to have oversized pants, and here is a comparison to my Visconti Speakeasy. This is a small pan for me, but I'm not shying away. I'm open to experience new things. And it's equipped with a Sailor 14 karat gold nib, HM, medium, hard medium. And I've wanted to have a fine, but I'm not that set on having a fine. I've tested this nib and it's gorgeous. Let me tell you that the more I dive into Japanese nibs, the more I like them. I used to love broad nibs, flex nibs, but now I tend to love extra fines, fine points. I quite enjoy to have that pencil-like feedback. You can expect soon a fun pen review of the Sailor Launcher Japan Blue. But before that, I will need to make more research and gather more knowledge and information about the techniques that are used on this fun pen. Also, I will have more time to use the pen and you will have my opinion regarding how easy it is to use and what you can expect if you have one of these pens. Also, something that I wanted to point out, if you want a pen like this, they are not limited editions, but they are coming in limited batches. And I recently observed that they are preparing to launch a new batch of this fund pens. So if you want to own one, I will leave you the link down below for the Wancher website, go there and subscribe to the list or maybe you can pay for a pre-order for this fountain pen and this is how you can own one. Well, I think this is it. There are no pens that are leaving the collection, only this one that was added to the collection and probably in the near future I will make a video recap of my entire fountain pen collection and probably from now on we will have in the description of every fun pen collection video the entire list of fun pens that I own. The model, the nib size, the limited edition number and so on. So you guys can go there and check what I have in my personal collection at this moment. Well, something that I want to point out, if you are not on the WhatsApp list that we put together for the PenVenture website, you can subscribe to that list by sending a message on WhatsApp at this number with your name and your country and we will add your contact details to that list. There is the place that we send discount codes, links for our new videos and also exclusive deals. Thank you for staying this long with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up and if you want to support me doing videos like this, Subscribe to the PenVenture YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. If you want to see more quality content from me, enjoy this video. Click here. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay safe.